In a significant judgment, the Supreme Court has held that a daughter will have a share in the ancestral property of the Hindu Succession Amendment Act 2005. Irrespective of whether her father was alive or not at the time of the amendment or even if daughter was born before 2005 amendment. The High Court had noticed that there is a conflict of opinion between Prakash versus Pulavati and Danama Sumant Sarpar versus Amant with regards to interpretations of Section 6 of the Hindu Succession Act 1956 as amended by the Hindu Succession Amendment Act 2005. However, the High Court followed the judgment in Prakash versus Pulavati and held in facts of this case that the amendment of 2005 do not benefit the plaintiff as her father passed away on 11. December 1999. Section 6 provides that on and from the commencement of the Hindu Succession Amendment Act 2005, 39 of the 2005 in a joint Hindu family governed by the Mita Shara law, the daughter of a copper center shelled, number A, by birthright, a copper center in her own rights, the same manner as the son, B, have the same rights in the copper centenary property as she would have had if she had been a son. C. Be subject to the same liabilities in respect of the state copper center property as that of a son, and any reference to the Hindu Metashara copper center shall be deemed to include a reference to a daughter of a copper center. The proviso to Section 6 clarifies that it shall not affect or invalidate any dispositions or alienations, including any partitions or testamentary dispositions of property which had taken place before the 20th day of December 2004. In Prakash v. Pulavati, the Supreme Court bench comprising Justices Anil R. Dev and A.K. Goyal had held that the rights under the amendment are applicable to living daughters of living copper centers as on 9th of September 2005, irrespective of when such daughters are born. It was held that there is neither any express provisions for giving retrospective effect to the amended provisions for necessary nor necessary indentment to that effect. This position was reiterated by the bench of Justices R.K. Agarwal and A.M. Sapre. In the cases of the Danama at Suman Sarpar versus Amantha, the bench comprising Justices A.K. Sikri and Ashok Bhushan had held that the share of the father who died in 2001 would also devolve upon his two daughters who would be entitled to share in the property. With this judgment, the Supreme Court went to step ahead in clarifying and protecting daughters' rights. Bureau Report.